What if I told you a secret society has been working to influence world events for hundreds of years, and now an unlikely Canadian journalist is on a mission to uncover the truth, and they're all played by Mike Myers? I'm talking about the Penteverit on Netflix. Take a look. What is this? In due time, Professor Clark. No, the time is due. Now is the due time. Are you going to kill me? I'm not scared of nothing. I'm just curious. Who are you? Bruce Baldwin, Chef Gordon. I am the one that got me shoot. And I am Lord Loddington. Together we are the Pentavery. Mike, it's so great to meet you. Lovely to meet you. I love what's behind you, by the way. You're a man of many voices. Can I try my Paul for you and get a little yeah, review from please. the master? Sure. Well, Mike Myers, how are you? That's really good. Cool. Down here. And then John, I feel like John's a little bit more in the middle. Do you agree? Yes, but you could also cop your hands to get it too. John's up here like this. He always sounds like he's compressed, you see. I like Blackbird, but maybe we should do it differently, Paul. Yeah. How was that? That was really good. I think you passed the audition. Getting that from you may be the, the hot career highlight for me as, as an impressionist. Well, let done. me ask you about your voices, especially sure. in this show. Every time I see you play so many characters, it's so amazing because you really take on and embody so many different people. How do you mentally keep track of your voices when you write so many fun parts for yourself like this? I, I well, thank you. I, I, um, I've been doing it for a long time. I, I did this at Second City in Toronto and Chicago. Then on Saturday Night Live, I played a whole bunch of characters, often in the same show. If you work with somebody great like um, Jay Roach for Austin Powers and in the Pentaveret with Tim Kirkby, who is a genius, when you work with people like that who are super smart, it's very easy. Then they just create a, a playground for you to have fun in. I feel so. like you're probably the master, I think. I hope you know that, of voices and characters. When you write this type of material, especially how rich this show is with comedy, satire, parody, do you kind of approach it from the characters first and how many different characters you want to jump into? I approach it always from the audience first. I, I, I grew up in a very working class house, and so, that kind of got to give people their money's worth thing is what ultimately drives me. And then I think I, I, I like doing movies that I would want to see, you know what I mean? And movies that I watched as a kid that excite me. So for Austin Powers, it was James Bond, but it was also James Bond spoofs. With Wayne's World, you know, I loved all the John Hughes movies. I wanted actually to make A Hard Day's Night with Garth and Wayne, you know, because I loved and worshiped that movie because it's a party, and it's a world you want to be in. And that's what I try and create, is a world you want to be in. Like our world, only more fun. I think you do that. I think it's particular to comedians as well, the working class aspect. You sort of have to keep your head down, right? And, and make it relatable. Has that been a challenge for you with all your success? Because we're talking about a secret society of powerful people. Yes. In this show, is it? you have to make sure it, 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 it's attractive to the working man and working person as well, right? Well, it's an interesting thing. Growing up in Canada, we don't have a fear of government. And I don't see government as anything except the, a great level playing field for people like my parents who came from Liverpool with nothing. For me, when secret societies aren't serving people, that's the problem. And the message of this show is experts need to serve the people and the people need to trust the experts. Well, listen, the show is great. Thanks so much for chatting me. I'll say goodbye as Paul if you do John. Uh, Mike, it's great to meet you. I think it was great. You know, it's uh, good to see you in Liddy Pool. 